Okay, so we're going to look at how we will deal with vectors um, in Illustrator and get them out of Illustrator and efficiently into Hype and a little bit about file formats and what to think about as you do so. Okay, so here I have a vector pack which I'm using. I'm just appropriating elements from here as graphics which I'm then going to bring into Hype. And so we we looked at Illustrator this week and we were talking about the differences between um, pixel-based uh, programs like Photoshop and then also um, vector-based ones like Illustrator. And really the key difference is that in Illustrator we have these smooth scalable graphics that are quite crisp, that are good for buttons and icons, um, and then in Photoshop we're dealing with imagery uh, JPEGs, pixels, that sometimes um, become blurred when scaled, so we have to think about resolution um, quite a bit when we're dealing with Photoshop imagery, but less so with Illustrator. So what we've got is uh, our selection of vector objects that we want to get out of um, Illustrator, and I'll just show you how to do this quickly and easily using the Asset Export panel. So this is the Asset Export panel, it's fairly easy to use, well it is very easy to use, um, and you can open that via the window menu in Asset Export. Okay, so It will come up like this. At the moment it's blank and we can use this to export various images from our um, Illustrator file which will then be exported as discrete individual cropped images, so they'll be the scale that you see them um, graphics with transparency that we can then bring into Hype and you'll see how that works in a minute. So we might have a collection of graphics that we're working on but we just want to export perhaps two or three and we can do so by just clicking and dragging those graphics onto the panel like so. We can then give them a name just by clicking on the name in the asset export bar. Um, if you're going to use more than one word, just put a hyphen between um, the image. Um, I'll explain why in the session, but it's just so there aren't any broken links when you export your website. This one called splat, and this is dots. We've got our known graphics ready to export. I'm just going to do the three here. And then you'll see below under export settings here, we have some presets. So we can Click on iOS and Android, and they will add preset sizes and formats for us to the export panel and do all of that automatically. So Android and iOS have particular, um, I guess, requirements for images and scale, and um, these buttons will help you to determine, that, to determine those kind of easily just by clicking. We're not interested in this for our project, so we're not going to use these. We're just going to use the format option at the bottom. So here if we just click format you can see you've got a choice of formats. We can use SVG which is our vector graphic format. So this is vectors for the web. This is a sort of agreed standard for vector graphics on the web. So we're going to use that. If we wanted to we could use PNG. So this is pixel based format with transparency which iOS and Android and other devices sometimes prefer. So this will convert it to a pixel format with see-through bits, so transparency. And then we've got four versions of JPEG that we can export to. So full resolution JPEG, that's 100. High resolution is 80, half and low resolution. And then PDF. Okay, so we've got our images ready. We can then just shift select them. So we want to export all three. And then you'll see that the export pan, uh, button at the bottom here just becomes highlighted. So you can just click export there. I've just got a folder for my images set up. So I'll make a new folder here called SVG Games. So I've got a new folder. And then I can choose that and export. That will export all of those 
for me automatically. And if I come back to here, click across two lines, and you can see I've got dots showing and splat. So it's done some cropping, so here you can see it's cropped according to the image, and it's also made the white bits, although it doesn't look like it at the moment, transparent, so I can then layer these up in hype over other things. So we've now got our folder with images ready. We can go over to hype and we can import these. Now I'll work at full screen here so I have everything scaled up and my preferred method of working is just to use command and tab to go through the applications that I'm using and always work at full screen. Um, and so working with hype, it's at full screen, I can go to the import selector Throw the resources button here. This will be my library of images that I'm going to import. And then just down below there, you'll see a plus button which says add resource. I'm just going to add a file option. And then I'm going to go to my assets and SVG names. This is the ones I've just exported. And then shift select all three of those and open. And they'll come in like this. And so I'll have a library of assets that I'm going to use in the Hype document, and I can just start to drag them out into my scene, like so. And you'll see with the transparency, we have this scenario. Okay. And I can rearrange using these buttons here. So that's fairly straightforward. We can just go to the resources panel, click the plus icon and import multiple files at once. Some people prefer to click and drag. And this is where you're working, let's just say with hype open like this. Um, now, if you're doing it this way, you don't have to always go to the resources panel and click the plus. You just go to your finder here if you're a drag and drop type person, you can then just start to drag and drop your assets onto the stage, like so. Or directly into the library. So depending on the way you work, you can drag and drop your assets onto the, into the scene, they'll be copied into your library, or directly into your library. And then they're ready to use um, on the stage.